Oh my god. Oh my god. So we are getting ready to head down to London for my birthday weekend. Um, Brandon Griffin surprised me with a little romantic weekend on a yacht. I don't know about all that, but we are going down to London. And so we have like 30 minutes. I'm trying to find a jacket, some bottoms for this trip. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my entire birthday weekend. So keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, hiya and welcome back. Those of you who are new, I usually show my life here in the UK. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you click subscribe. So I was actually moving pretty quickly. I got everything that I needed, a jacket, some bottoms. My glasses keep falling off my head, so it's probably gonna mess my hair up, but I beat my time. How much time do I have left? Cash in number five, please. 30 minutes. 30 minutes left. Now I didn't have 30 minutes left, Brandon Griffin actually gave me more time but told me that I had 30 minutes. <laughs> so with the extra time, I grabbed me some Krispy Kreme and then we headed over to the train station. So we made it to the train station. Information for passengers traveling forward to Norwich and replacing the service would apart from the front of the station at 11.54. Like I was saying, <laughs> we made it to the station super early, which is good because we're always like a couple of minutes like right before the train. So we're heading down to London in a few. Um, we're going to try and drop our bags off at the hotel and then go on a tour of the city of London. Brianna Griffin did a phenomenal job at planning my entire birthday weekend. On our first night in London, we stayed at the Nyx Hotel, which is located in Southampton. And it is a really cool, uniquely designed hotel. I really love the food that they offered in the lounge slash restaurant area. Those nachos were delicious. <laughs> I loved it and it was so much. Um, one of the other things that I really liked was the design of our room. It was really um, interesting. There were like grungy slash pretty elements of it with pops of red. And I just love how it all came together. I'm not sure who their design team is or person is, but they did a really good job with our room. My husband knows that I'm a fan of unique hotels and I really liked how they had this canvas wall with panther eyeballs. Um, and when you turn the light switch on, they glowed. And so I really like that element to the room as well as this unique vintage red mini fridge and the Nespresso machine. I also love the porthole mirrors that hung by belts, as well as these teacups that reminded me of the movie Get Out. <laughs> we headed down to a group tour of the city of London and it was actually a black history tour hosted by a woman named Avril and she was so funny and I loved this tour it was so insightful there were moments that were really shocking as well but I think that if we know our history, we know how we can go forward and what we can do differently. One of the first places she took us was the Jamaica Wine House, which used to be a coffee shop. It was the first coffee shop in London. And unfortunately in the 1600s, coffee shops were used to discuss business. And knowing our history in the 1600s, business meant slavery um, and a lot of other things as well but slavery was the main thing so that was really shocking for me but the most shocking thing was learning about the Lloyd's building which I honestly had never heard of this company before but they still are around and they insure literally everything and in the 1600s they profited heavily off of the slave trade which consisted of my ancestors my favorite portion of this tour was actually a structure called Guilt of Cain. And I encourage you, if you're in the London area, to take Avril's tour because she'll actually go in depth um, and in detail on what this, this whole sculpting is. But it is a poem that each of these little pieces of 
sugarcane actually have the lines written across them. Um, I really encourage anybody who is in London or even in England to make sure that you support people who are trying to inform you of the history of the area. Because like I said earlier, if you don't know, then you don't grow. <laughs> so this is really nice. And if you want to support Avril, she actually has a book out with another artist and they have spotlighted different parts of London that are entrenched in black history. So we just left our tour and it was really, really, really good. Um, it's a black history tour. We learned so much stuff and saw so many sites. It was really nice. But now we're going to get something to eat. We are truly in the city of London. So yeah. So it is a new day. We are getting ready to head to our other hotel and then we're going to a festival kind of thing um, later on today. Starting at, I think it starts at 2. Um, but we're going to try and drop our bags off and then go to the festival. Well, it's but I'm super excited because today is really warm. Like, I don't need this jacket. I have a little sweater and I don't need this. So I'm probably going to change it to this dress that I had packed. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, beautiful, sunny day in London. So we're almost to our little yacht hotel. Um, it's actually really cute here. So I'm going to pan the camera around so you guys can see it and get the vibes. Swimming in the water. So the hotel is right. The, you can't even see it. <laughs> I'll point to it when we get a little bit closer. Okay, here is the hotel. It's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the second hotel that Brandon Griffin booked for us was actually the Sunborn Yacht Hotel which was beautiful when i tell you i loved this hotel as i said before i love a unique hotel and brandon griffin nailed this on the head he also nailed it on the head because we love cruising every thanksgiving we go on a cruise and unfortunately due to everything that happened in 2020 we were unable to go on a cruise um and the last cruise we went on was hawaii this room put me in the mind of our trip with Norwegian. It had a beautiful view from the balcony. The hotel itself was stationary, so we did not set sail, which I thought was a great idea because it would inconvenience its guests if people were trying to explore the surrounding areas. Just take in that beautiful view, you guys. So I have to change because it is super duper hot today. Um, I put on this dress. I have my little jacket just in case it gets, you know, kind of chilly. But we're getting ready to go to um, the festival. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's supposed to be Caribbean music, so we'll see. We are heading back. My hair looks super messy because it's really hot. But we're heading back to our yacht. <laughs> the yacht hotel. I'm interested to know, what do you guys think of my glasses? Let me know down in the comments. As I told you in my last vlog from visiting the States, um, I found out that my vision is 
getting worse so I will be wearing them a lot more and I've actually ordered a couple of different styles so I can't wait to show those off once they finally arrive. After returning from Brixton, we decided to take the ball ride that we had seen floating back and forth when we were at the hotel. And oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't realize it was as high as it was, but this ride was pretty high. And I was excited the entire time when it was time for us to go into the ball. But as soon as we got in, my entire reality shifted. <laughs> it instantly felt like a roller coaster. I'll let you have a look. Oh my gosh, so this thing is about to shoot us out like a freaking roller coaster. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, should we both be on the same side? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Super quiet. I thought I was gonna be calm, cool, collected, and then I saw that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And we gotta go down! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! <sighs> Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why are these people just walking up there? What are they doing? Exploring the O2 Center or Arena, I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> Exploring that area was actually really cool because it just had a lot of different restaurants in there and it smelled really good. <laughs> the pizza places just had an aroma floating through the air. That was amazing. But we ate from this one small food stand before we went to the O2. I also saw that they had some dance room that was kind of Mamma Mia inspired. And it was really funny because there has been some type of ABBA theme in my life this entire week. So we saw ABBA at a local pub, um, a group performing as ABBA. And then we went to the O2 and saw this. And I was really interested in seeing when it was gonna open, but there were no dates listed or, any, or anything. Then we walked around and we found some place upstairs called Taco um, or Toka. And it was a virtual football, AKA soccer game experience, but we didn't play anything. When it was time for us to head back, it was just as scary getting on the little ball ride to cross the river at nighttime because I just had every crazy thought in my head. For example, I was like, hmm, what if we, have a plane fly over us while we're trying to cross and then it shakes us and we fall into the river and then Jaws is in there and he crushes our entire ball. And although Jaws and all that stuff didn't happen, a plane did fly over us and it caused us to shake really, really bad. This lady's stuck in the elevator. She, she doesn't know what's floating in on. Oh my God. Y'all, so the lady got stuck in the elevator <laughs> and like she didn't know, she wasn't like stuck inside. She was stuck on the same floor. She wasn't like putting her key in and out fast enough. <laughs> but we tried to help her. We got her to her correct floor with using our key. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> the things that happen when we go out of town. <laughs> We're heading out. It's been nice, London. Peace.